안녕하세요 저는 제이콥 정이라고 합니다 지금 저는 프라잉팬에서 메인 셰프를 맡고 있고 모든 운영과 모든 것을 담당하고 있습니다 Hi, my name is Deuce. I'm a consulting chef for the Frank Pan food truck. So after, after Jacob was looking at restaurant spots for nearly a year, wanting to open his own Korean style fry, fried chicken restaurant, and he found out that uh, he didn't have enough startup or, or, or the places that he wanted uh, wasn't the right kitchen. So when he found out that the Yolks restaurant in Vancouver was selling their food truck, he had a eureka, eureka moment and uh, decided to jump on board and purchase that truck and this is that's how he uh, he got started After thinking about the names and trying to see what what kind of names we could use, after a couple mistrials like Monster Chicken or something a little bit more masculine, him and his wife were walking around in a food equipment store and saw a piece of little small frying pan, and he felt that that was a good name, and it felt homey. So he decided to go with that instead of being a masculine like a brand. It felt more home and more appealing to the masses. Uh, why Korean fried chicken? I don't know if any of you guys ever been to Korea or had Korean style fried chicken. We believe that it's one of the it's world's best. Uh, when it comes to crispiness, flavor wise, we feel like the technique they have over in Korea is bar none to other fried chickens. Even buttermilk chicken or any kind of fried chicken that's very popular recipes in America. In having that pride of Korean pride of like we, make, we can make any good chicken, he wanted to infuse that was popular in a Western culture, like in the States where Nashville hot style chicken was, was becoming popular. And he wanted to integrate that with uh, Korean style chicken so that he can have his own menu and appeal to the masses when it comes to chicken. Yeah, so working on a food truck, definitely there are a lot of advantages and disadvantages. During the summer, it gets way too hot in the kitchen. Uh, during the winter, it's way too cold. Also having Having all the equipment on the truck and moving constantly is not very good for the truck or the equipment. So some of the stuff, like the equipment wise, don't have a lifespan of, say, if it's in a restaurant, you know. So those are little disadvantages. And also the fact that our customers have to eat on the street. They don't really have a place to eat or they usually take it to their office or their homes to eat. And I think that's a little disadvantage because I feel like our food is super high quality and uh, we want them to enjoy it in a best, best state, which is pretty much right away. And we can't, the fact that we're a truck and we can't, pro, we can't provide that, those kind of settings kind of, kind of disappoints us, you know. But also a uh, great thing about food truck is when the customer starts getting their food and even without us noticing, there will be a crowd of people just passing by looking at our food and that's an instant feedback, right? That's an instant gratification of, oh, that food looks good, that food looks delicious. Or they can ask, oh, is that, is that any good? And because of that, people tend to line up, line up just by looking at our food and looking at um, what kind of, you know, how, it, how it's presented. And I think that's uh, one of our greatest assets. Yeah, we're really thankful for all the attention that we've been getting. Uh, it's, it's been only been a, about a year since we opened. And I think that the positive feedback that we've gotten from the locals is unbelievable. And we're truly so thankful for that. There's a little bit of, I guess, a notion that when it comes to food trucks, you're not getting the high-end quality pro or proteins or they're not using the highest quality of, material, you know, of ingredients in order to make the ends meet. We decide to not think about that. Instead of serving 100 low quality food that's not memorable to people we rather spend a little more money on our ingredients and serve 30 people and they have one of the more memorable memorable meals from a food truck if we can do that and do it successfully we can do it for all the city of vancouver you know we feel like we we have a system where we can be quick but also at the same time we can bring out the highest quality the quality that we feel that we're we're proud to use instead of 
oh, our chicken is, we, uh, without knowing the source of our, where our ingredients come from, you know, we know where our chicken comes from, we know where we get our bread, you know, so like those little, de little attention to details, and I think that's what people are starting to notice, you know, I think people are starting to notice the quality of the, our chicken, quality of our bread, like everything is handmade, you know, everything's house made, in house. There's not a shortcut that we take. And we want to bring that kind of quality not just to our truck, and but we want to set a standard of that quality for all the food trucks in Vancouver. Um, for us, our next step is comes out to our first goal is to open our own spot. Being a food truck, we have a lot of limitations on what we can do things like hours, what we can serve. There's a very limited amount of storage, so we can't be packing a full menu on the truck. So we wanna be able to showcase our cooking skills and in a solid spot where we are continuous, we're continually growing as a fried chicken place, but also be able to serve new items, new, new menu, something more innovative and appealing to the masses that, you know, hopefully we'll get a, we'll get a positive feedback on you know we're always constantly working we're constantly thinking we're constantly thinking about menu how we can improve our quality how we can improve our you know state of the truck and all that so we are really hoping that around next year that we will have a restaurant and we can operate out of the both food truck and the restaurant